Jody Ellis. I'm an enterprise technologist. I've been working at Dell, supporting SAP for 17 years. And just a while back, came back from uh, a director of infrastructure at SAP. And we're going to be talking about um, aspects of SAP and SAP HANA. SAP HANA has been introduced a few years ago by SAP to be not only a database appliance, but also an appliance for an increasing range of analytics that are close to the data. And the closer you get the analysis to the data, the less you move it around, the faster the performance is going to be. So we're going to be looking at this in-memory row-column store that is HANA. This particular module, we're going to look at the scale-up solution, and we're going to explain why it is scale-up and what the other solutions are. So HANA... It has replaced or is replacing a lot of the databases within uh, SAP deployments. Uh, currently, the target by 2025 is that all of the business suite, all of the other mainline solutions that are being used by SAP customers will be running on HANA and will not be running on SQL, Oracle, DB2 and the other databases that they have been and are now. So there's going to be an increasing move to HANA, partly because it's a valuable thing to do, partly because you have to do that. And there are different ways of, of getting HANA. So the customers are going to be getting HANA, so how do they do that? One of the ways, because HANA is relatively new, relatively complicated, is to buy a pre-configured appliance and get the whole set to begin with included in the purchase from Dell. So you can get pre-configured appliances that are the HANA appliance. They either run standalone for analytics or they run as part of an SAP NetWeaver implementation for Business Suite, for BW, for each of these different solutions. They can be used for the various tasks within an enterprise, whether this is data analytics standalone or whether it's existing SAP solution applications, existing business warehouse, existing ERP, ECC, or as SAP are now trying to migrate these solutions to be not only operating on HANA but efficiently operating on HANA, systems such as S4 which are going to be increasingly used. It provides many advantages, but a lot of these are implemented over time. So you can put in a HANA into an existing system and just replace the existing database with HANA and off you go. But as you then start developing code to make use of HANA, you start optimizing the SAP systems to make best use of HANA, the closer you go to using HANA itself, the greater the performance is going to be. And there can be vast improvements in performance. And it's not just a matter of running things faster. You can also do things that have never been done before. And a number of companies are benefiting from that. There are various ready bundles for HANA, but what is scale up as opposed to other solutions? SAP have different rules for implementing their applications on HANA. And one of the basic tenets of this is whether there is an analytical workload or a transactional workload. This gets a little confusing when you start moving to the long-term solutions and the long-term architecture for SAP, where they're trying to combine, as in S4 and Handle Live, both the analytical and the transactional functions. But historically, analytical and transaction have been separate, and this is still reflected in scale-up versus scale-out. For the transactional systems, such as ECC, CRM, 
and including the new solutions S4 that is heavily being marketed by SAP, you have to have a monolithic server that takes up one entire image. So the CPUs, the memory, live in large table spaces. So up to a few months ago, to implement S4 or ECC, you could only do it on a single server. And with HANA, active memory is key. So if you had databases that required memory greater than 4 terabytes, you would then have to have 8 socket servers, 16 socket server, 32 socket server, with 1 terabyte of memory per socket being supported. So on the R930, you could support up to 4 terabytes for the transactional business suite type systems. But if you needed to support more than 4 terabytes, you would have to scale up, and you would have to scale up through systems such as Bull's 16 socket system that would then support 16 terabytes of memory. Recently, SAP have announced that they will allow scale up systems to be distributed across multiple eight socket systems. Uh, not four socket, but eight socket because of the way that the table layout uh, works. So the four socket systems can support up to four terabytes. The eight, 16 socket, again, one terabyte per socket. These can be run on physical OSs, uh, one per server. These can be shared when physical through SAP's MDC, which is multiple database containers, or they can be shared through VMware virtualization, which allows you to have multiple operating systems per server. So the ready nodes for scale up for HANA provides R930s that can support from 128 gigabyte Typically, you're going to be selling 512 up through 4 terabyte systems. These are based off Intel's E7 8880 and 8890 processors. Since its inception, SAP HANA has been based off Intel and indeed co-developed with Intel. And so Intel have a strong lead in the HANA space, though recently IBM has introduced the Power series of processors. There is no real competition. It is much easier and much more direct development on Intel than on Power. The systems come pre-configured with the 8890 processors, with the memory, and with all the disks that are required internal to the system. So that when you buy an appliance, it's already completely integrated with all the parts that you need to have this deployed and comes with the services that are required to install and connect the SAP HANA system to the other components within an SAP deployment. So why are people going to HANA? Well, for one thing, a lot of customers have to, and SAP are pressuring them to. But also, there's an awful lot of advantages going to HANA, particularly in the spaces of analytics. Whether you choose an appliance to deploy HANA, or whether you do HANA on its own through TDI, depends on the way that the company is running their business and the way whether they wish to do the technical details of the implementation. This is part of the decision that the customer must make along with the technical support available from Dell EMC. And part of the decision is based off the existing infrastructure that the customer may want to make use of and whether it is an advantage to make use of existing storage etc or whether that is not really capable of supporting HANA.
the specifics of how you implement the HANA depends again on which solutions are being run. If you are running the business suite, if you are running BW, then you'll be using HANA within that context and you'll also be working with the customer for the application layer in addition to the base HANA server itself. If you are running a data analytics like HANA Edge or direct data mart within, B, uh, within HANA, then you wouldn't be needing the application servers. The scale, the scale up, the scale out will depend on whether this is an analytical system such as BW or a transactional system such as ECC uh, or S4. Remember that this is part of an overall deployment of, of HANA. So the backup, you know, does the system need to back up with software? Does it need an agent? Where is it going to back up to? Please remember that the appliance is a standalone box and you shouldn't be leaving the backup images on the standalone box. Dell has been a provider of HANA and a partner of SAP since 1997 and we have certified our servers since then. We have provided not only SD certified servers for use with NetWeaver, we have provided BWA appliances when they were supported by SAP and now the HANA system. We have people in the Linux lab who provide the technology support as well as development within the Palmer organization. The benchmarks are now record setting benchmarks that Dell has put in to the SAP space both at the BW and analytics space and also within the SD benchmarks. Dell is committed engineering to these solutions and they are some of the best HANA systems in the marketplace. Dell EMC have provided services for SAP as well as providing the infrastructure for SAP. Services can be divided up by many different criteria from the technical level such as deployment, maintenance, through basis services which are part of SAP's architecture up through services such as migration and also data analysis and data quality analysis. And as you go up through the stack different services are available including workshops to figure out what services should be uh, offered. There are different ways of maintaining and managing uh, HANA and SAP once deployed and for customers who really don't feel that they want to manage their own infrastructure there are also of course systems such as VirtuStream where we can provide managed service for SAP without having actual infrastructure uh, on the ground so this is SAP and the scale-up HANA. If you have any questions, you can either go to the Sales Edge portal or you can email sapsales at dell.com. This is Jody Ellis talking about the SAP scale-up portal.